We have here an LTX 1000 Craftsman Lawn Tractor. It has a uh, 21 horsepower overhead valve twin. And we're just going to check the uh, valve clearances today. It seems to be driving a little bit when you start it, so it has been done in quite a few years, and it's a good idea to check it. Make sure everything is working top notch. It's easier on the starter, battery, all that good stuff. So you'll get a dragging, and then it'll want to release. So the compressions of the exhaust valves are not opening enough to allow it to roll over easily. So we're going to get the bonnet off, take the deck to stall off, clean it up, and then we'll uh, have a better look. All right, so we've got the uh, bonnet all off, the motor deck's off. And if you have a hoist, it's uh, kind of handy to have that. You can hook it up here and then it'll keep the oil uh, to the back of the motor. And then also gives you a little bit easier to work at and see what you got to do. And uh, looks like we got a little bit of leaking on the valve covers, but this is where the valves are. And there, one there. And so we'll open those up and clean them up. And I might actually clean them. So I'll see a little bit of a rat's nest in there. So that keeps the engine from cooling properly, so you do get to clean that in. So we'll get the valve covers off and then we'll have a look and see once they're off. Okay, so we got the valve cover off and I'll just check the, uh, the valve clearances. In order to do that, you want to make sure uh, that your valve is loose. So you want this one here, the stroke to be down and this one here to be relaxed. So you can do that by just rotating your flywheel so it's like that and then you want to use a feeler gauge and you put that in between in there so we got a little bit of to tighten up just a tiny bit but not much um, this of course is your exhaust and this is your intake they uh, require about a five to seven thou clearance on that and a nine to eleven on the exhaust so I'm going to check those and then I'm going to go over and do the same thing on the other side and see if see if you notice any differences and then you just put the 40 Torx to adjust and put your wrench on the outside and you want to take your time with it because it's uh, it can be finicky because when you go to tighten your nut your lock nut um, you can actually tighten up the other side so, so just be careful and always double check your check your clearances when you're done and then once that's all all good you put the valve cover back on and we'll have a look when we get to that point. So we got this side all back together, got clean, cleaned up, and then I went over here and took this one off. I had to adjust uh, this one here a little bit. But I did notice uh, when the fuel pump hooks on, you've got that outlet there, which takes the uh, pressure from the engine to help operate the uh, fuel pump. And there was a little hose hooked onto it. Of course, goes on the valve cover. Well, it has some problems, so I'm gonna have to see if I can get another one. There's some cracks and holes in it, which is gonna reduce the performance quite a bit. So I'm gonna wait, get some parts, and stay tuned for a part two, and we'll get it back together.